What's up guys, Edgy here bringing another video and today we are back with another Madden 23 video. So today guys, I'm going to be going over, in my opinion, like I said, my opinions are not always right, but this is my, my plan, what I'm going to do um, to start my Madden 23 Ultimate Team. So we're anxiously awaiting for them to actually drop the game. It is Sunday the 14th, as you can see in the bottom of my screen, but I'm going to be going over my, you know lay out my game plan of how I'm gonna build my team to start so for me I do run a theme team but I use my theme team for videos and whenever I'm not recording specific theme team videos I have a God Squad so normally I'll do you know 25 out of 50 Dolphins chem or later in the year I'll do 50 out of 50 Dolphins chem with a bunch of non Dolphins um, just to have the best team possible and then be boosting my Dolphins players that I do have on the field so my plan so eventually I'm gonna have all the players from my theme team. It probably won't be day one. It's gonna take some, you know, some grinding. It's gonna take some coins. Um, but eventually I will have all those Dolphins players. So the way I'm gonna start, as soon as I get in uh, to Madden, I'm taking Channing Tindall, rookie premier. I'm taking Larry Zonka, team captain, because I know for sure those two guys are Dolphins. They're gonna be on my team. I'm also gonna take the Jalen Waddle from the loyalty rewards. He's at 83 overall with 86 speed. And after that, I'm just going to play solos, grind all those opening solos, um, and just see what I get from the Nat cards. Because you're going to get a ton of Nat cards, you're going to get you know level packs, you're going to get stuff along the way just from playing the game. Um, normally the opening solos are going to give you a lot of you know gold cards, elite cards, to kind of build your squad. I'm going to see you know what my team looks like after I do all the opening challenges. Once I do all the opening challenges... I might pull a couple of lead offensive linemen, or I might pull, you know, Jalen Ramsey. You don't know what you're going to pull from those. It's completely random, obviously. There's a lot more elites in the game this year than there ever has been. Um, I'm not sure why they did that. I'm not sure exactly, you know, if that Mutt Leaks thing was 100% accurate. Um, but there's like 120 more elites than normal, I believe. Which means that there should be a lot more variety. You should be going against a lot of different players, not just going against the same team every game like normal. Like I said, take advantage. Go into this game knowing, okay, I want to build my team this way. If, whether it be a theme team or you know, you're know you a run-heavy person or if you're a pass-heavy person, you never run the ball. You're not going to really prioritize a good running back. Um, maybe you throw to your running back all the time and you want to make sure you get an offense built around throwing to your running back. Plan ahead. Whenever the game does drop, do your solos. Only take players with your rewards ahead of time that you know for sure that you're going to use no matter what. Um, so go ahead, do those challenges. Once you have that team from whatever Nats you pulled, then you go through and say, okay, well, my theme team has this position, this position that's a you know 84 overall, whatever. I don't really need to you know, utilize a rookie premier on that position. So like for example, the Dolphins have Teron Armstead at left tackle. I'm not going to take a rookie premier left tackle. So go ahead and focus on positions that your team needs. If your team captain, if you haven't taken a team captain, like I'm going to take it right away, but if you haven't taken a team captain, really look at your team, what you have, what you're going to need, and a position that's going to you know, help you the whole year because these cards are going to upgrade. They always do. Um, let me go to the team captain to just show you guys the options in case you don't know. So there's Sam Adams, Eric Allen, Larry Zonka, Keyshawn Johnson. So you got a big physical wide receiver good route running, good catching, big body. He normally has good run block as well. You got Larry Zonka, the fullback, who's you know able to run the ball as well. They made him pretty fast. You got Eric Allen, who's a very balanced corner. He can play man, he can play zone, he can press. You can put him in the slot, you can put him outside. And then you got Sam Adams, who's a monster of a D-tackle. He's got really high block shed, power move. He's got good speed for a D-tackle. So it really just depends on how you want to build your team and you know utilizing positions that you're not going to have or that you don't get from grinding the opening challenges. Rookie premieres. So, like I said, do your challenges. Do your challenges. Don't be that guy who just hops in the game as soon as you get the game and you get flooded because you're going to get somebody who actually took the time to build their squad. Do your challenges. See what you pull. Use your rookie premieres on positions you need. If you don't really want to grind challenges and you have all five rookie premieres, I highly recommend using at least a couple of them on offensive linemen. They're going to be the most usable long term out of any position like the receivers the corners they're nice to start but in a couple weeks new cards are going to come out and they're going to you know kind of be obsolete so offensive line normally they don't upgrade right away so i would focus on those positions there's you know good tackles there's guards there's a center 
um, you have a lot of options focus on positions that are going to be long term not just guys that you're going to use for a week and then oh this guy's you know he's too slow now or you know he can't block shit anymore focus on positions that are going to you know have longevity so for me if i you know don't pull anything say i don't pull anything good from my solo challenge rewards from the opening solos what i'm going to do with these rookie premieres is basically fill the positions that my theme team doesn't have so offensive line we're going to have a left tackle and a right tackle that are confirmed and the interior of our offensive line is going to be golds most likely so i'm probably going to take at least two interior offensive linemen just to sure up my team i want to have a good offensive line i want to have time to throw the ball i want to be able to run the ball when i want to so i'm probably going to take two offensive linemen defensively i'm probably going to take jordan davis he's an absolute monster he's a huge human being he has really good block shed he has high strength he has good speed for as big as he is and i think he'll be a card that you can use you know for at least the first month now there's a lot of these other cards too receivers corners they can be good depth positions you know because receivers corners you're usually going to use at least three of them like every game you're going to use at least three receivers at least three corners uh if you run dime you're going to be running four corners so if you're a person that you know doesn't really run four three or three four and you know you're going to be running nickel and dime pretty much all game by all means take one of these rookie premier corners so you have somebody say he's your starter day one and then in a couple weeks whenever new cards come out you bump him down to your corner three but he's playing your nickel position he's still contributing he's still making plays for you um, you just got to prioritize what's going to help you the most to start um, a lot of people i know are signing up for the mcs tournament i signed up for it i don't know if i'll make it into the you know the actual money part of it um, but boy am I gonna try so I just want to help you guys as much as possible I want you guys to have the best team you possibly can to start the game um, and you got to make sure you util utilize all these rewards so rookie premieres loyalty uh, team captains solo challenge rewards uh, I believe you get a free headliners player also that's like an 82 overall um, there's a couple good options out of that build your team after you do your solos don't rush into it and just take all your players right away and then you pull duplicate positions and solos and you have to quick sell them or just they ride the bench you want to have the most balanced team possible you want to have the highest overalls you can at every position um, you don't want to be lacking anywhere so do your solos first then take your loyalty rewards take your rookie premieres your team captain whatever it is be smart about this guys because it can make a big difference from beginning of the year to end of the year if you build your team right to start so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful if you enjoyed please make sure to smack that like button hit that sub button if you're new turn notifications on as always everyone have a great day i'm out